Greetings one and all, welcome to another Deckard Games YouTube uh, computer -y kind of thing. Today we are going to do a uh, different video because, well, that's what I'm uh, doing this week. I have to uh, test something that I got in the mail and probably I will be using it in a uh, future and future video, if it works, of course. And um, also because, well, it's what I have uh, time this week, so uh, yeah, and I don't know, you uh, may find something that you um, may not know and uh, you want to take a look at it. This is, uh, again, it's some of the stuff that I do when I got some uh, old-ish, because, well, it's not that old, say, Gigabyte motherboard with an AMD CPU and some uh, DDR3 RAM, circa 2012, 13 something like that so uh, yeah and i want to uh, test it out so uh, some of the things that i use some of the uh, programs that i uh, also use we are going to test the ram the cpu check if the um, all-round system is uh, stable and whatnot uh, temperatures voltages and uh, things so uh, yeah this is what i do so um, why not share it with you stuff that i do not uh, filming it there's always crap going around especially in this uh, what is this what do i can call this it's, it's, it's like a like a counter uh, that i use for um, testing there's always tons of crap in here and it's cool because well i have my windows there so plenty of uh, daylight uh, during the day <laughs> of course so, uh, sure, the uh, hardware is um, assembled, the power supply is always there, my uh, testing monitor is here, which is not a monitor, it's a TV, so if I want to, yeah, I can watch some TV in there, it has a remote and whatnot, but I use this one from uh, Acer, because, well, it's an all-round TV, it has uh, HDMI, there is the cable, also your VGA output, and it has DVI in there, which we are going to use. So yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, man. It has all the outputs that I need for uh, testing. And uh, it is a decent size uh, monitor TV kind of thing. So uh, sure, for example, different things that um, I use. Uh, well, I always have the uh, IO facing me to uh, plug and uh, unplug uh, stuff because, well, it is just easier, always handy to have around a, um, a PC beeper, not a PC speaker, if one needs so. And speaking of these connectors, instead of um, powering on and off the system with a uh, screwdriver, because, well, uh, you, can, you can, you can connect both pins with a uh, metal thing, instead, well, I just use a... Uh, a regular uh, ATX button, which I have mangled from a uh, broken PC case. So, uh, yeah, well, look at that. It's just a little switch, which, uh, I don't know, man. I feel uh, it's handy. And I also have laying around, you know, some uh, screwdrivers and whatnot. Again, some stuff that I've also mangled from a uh, PC case to test uh, if the I.O. on the motherboard is working, you know. Just some uh, USB 3, regular USB and audio. Oh no, this is just audio and USB 3. Yeah, USB 3 and audio. So yeah, just uh, crap that I use. And uh, usually I start by uh, plugging uh, just the um, basic, no, uh, no storage devices and whatnot. Just the power supply. Uh, well, because we, well, we need power. CPU is in there, CPU cooler, RAM, of course. And although I think this CPU has an integrated graphics, I don't know, man. I think it does, but whatever. I have a uh, 40 um, HD 4870, something like that, in there, because, well, because I know it works. And I couldn't find my uh, 3870, which is uh, way more quiet than that. So, uh, yeah, let's give it a go. And uh, again, I usually start by going into the BIOS and uh, checking things out, so uh, look at that. Ah! We have a signal, which is uh, always cool, and uh, um, here we are at uh, our 
BIOS, BIOS version F2A. So yeah, you just um, wonder around. So yeah, this in a, this in AMD A10. This is a 5800K APU. Yeah, it has a Radeon graphics integrated. Well, frequencies seem okay and whatnot. Go to advanced frequencies here. Making sure that uh, XMP is enabled. Advanced memory setting, uh, sure. Everything seems okay. We can go into the BIOS health thingy. Ah, uh, yes. The case is indeed open. So yeah, BIOS date from uh, March 15, 2013. Yeah, I wasn't wrong about the date. Oh, yeah, you just wander around seeing if everything caught your attention. Everything seems to be okay. So, uh, yeah, next thing that I usually do, hard drive is still not connected. I have my um, a very old and handy pen drive with uh, Memtest 86 and uh, with a second partition with um, some programs like CPU-Z, GPU-Z, uh, Ada64 or Ida64, I believe it's Ida. Hardware info and uh, stuff like that. Uh, so uh, the next thing that uh, I usually do is to check for uh, RAM errors or RAM issues. So uh, yeah, let's take care of that by uh, powering off our machine. So pen drive is in place. Oh yeah, boot manual. Well, there's uh, not a lot to choose from. I will leave links on the description of this video to the stuff that uh, I am using. So here we are at uh, Memtest86 and here we have some extra info which we didn't have on the uh, original Memtest86 but sure. Indeed we are using the AMD 5800K APU with a turbo of uh, 4 GHz. We will check if it reaches that number or not. Oh yeah, there's some stuff that you can do around here, like benchmarking or RAM and whatnot, so uh, we are not going to do that. The option that uh, we need is the one that says start test. It is uh, as simple as that, although you can configure what kind of test you want to, um, you want to run. But uh, yeah, I usually set it. use the default and you just, uh, well, start your test. Yes, I usually let it uh, do one complete pass. Uh, I usually don't wait for the four passes, but uh, whatever. Yeah, it is running Memtest 86. So uh, hopefully errors in there will stay uh, in zero and uh, you can see the uh, evolution of the test. So uh, yeah, let's uh, pause the video and uh, we will be back. So yeah, testing is complete and uh, fortunately we have um, no errors. That means that RAM is uh, okay. And Memtest 86, it's, it's well, it's been around since um, I remember it forever. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what year it came out, but uh, it is old. And um, back in the old days, it was just a uh, blue screen with uh, no options. You would just uh, burn a CD or whatever and it would automatically start the test and whatnot. So yeah, it is very cool for um, testing RAM. And since RAM is okay, we are going once again to disconnect this or power off our machine. And here we have a hard drive. I have like four of these. This one is for Windows 10. There you go. A simple 10 in there, Windows 10. And uh, I have another for uh, Windows XP. And uh, I don't know, maybe one with Windows 7. Yeah, I have three. Windows, Windows XP, Windows 7 and Windows 10. It is just pre-installed. So uh, we are going to plug this in. There you go, hard drive is uh, connected. And with the hard drive connected now, we are going to boot into Windows and do some uh, other stuff. Of course, I'm not going to bother you with driver installation and whatnot. We will, uh, well, in the video, we are going to uh, boot to Windows 10 and that's it. And there you go, Windows 10 is booting with uh, everything already installed. And while at Windows, I usually start by uh, 
checking out the uh, device manager to see if, if everything is detected or not. Oh yeah, everything is okay. There we have our 5800K network cards and whatnot. All the controllers, sure. Everything seems to be okay. Eight gigabytes of RAM, four times two. I did install three little applications. The first CPU-Z or CPU-Z, you know, just to um, see if uh, anything cuts my eye or not. AMD A10-5800K codenamed Trinity from the Matrix, I'm guessing. Sure, everything seems to be okay. Four cores, four threads. Our motherboard, by the way, is a Gigabyte A85X D3H, which I'm not familiar with, but uh, whatever. PCIe 1.0, 16 times. So yeah, everything seems to be okay. You can also benchmark on CPU-Z. I usually don't do it, but we can, but uh, sure. That's not the point. I don't uh, usually use that. I'm going to a task manager just to uh, see the cores and frequencies on our CPU. And we are going to open this one, which is Hardware Info 64, sensors only. What this thing does is, well, it detects all the freaking sensors on your system and well it rebooted that's uh, that's cool i guess uh, well something happened so yeah we had some um, stupid driver installation still uh, going on which restarted my machine i really don't know why but uh, sure so here you can see everything from uh, voltages to clocks to uh, temperatures it is a very cool little program to uh, have so uh, yeah I don't want to check this I want to check the CPU I don't need the RAM also so yeah this is gonna stay open we can leave this also open and now I'm gonna run Ada 64 or Ida 64 the extreme version so yeah in here you can check all sorts of stuff from your motherboard to your cpu storage and whatnot the thing that i really want in here is tools and we have this um, system stability test we have this system stability test i want to see this the clocks and whatnot so yeah we are going to stress the cpu fpu sure the cache system memory sure we don't need to stress test the GPU and hard drive. Sure, we are going to click start. And uh, well, as you can see, it's going to push our CPU to the limit 100% all the time. As you can also see in here, we are doing 4 gigahertz on all cores, which is cool. Well, our CPU is at uh, 90 degrees which is a little bit concerning but uh, sure yeah voltages seem to be okay and whatnot as you can see it is at 100 percent all the time you can also see some other stuff like the cooling fans again the voltages your 12 volt and whatnot so uh, one cool feature is this uh, statistics tab which again you can see if uh, everything is all right Again, four cores and four gigahertz on all cores. You know, CPU around 70 degrees Celsius with a hotspot at 80. Voltages seem to be okay. So yeah, I usually let this run for a, um, I don't know, an hour or so. Sometimes less because, well, it seems to be uh, working. Ada64 is a really cool program to, um, to have. It's again, it uh, stresses all your system and uh, you can check for an instability or not. So uh, sure. So there you go, five minutes and um, it's still going. I'm uh, a little concerned about the CPU hotspot, but um, I will get to that after the video. So uh, yeah, uh, again, this wasn't a video 
showing, oh, this is the correct way of doing things, or this is the proper way. Nothing like that. This is just my way of uh, doing things, uh, you know, little things that uh, someone that might be watching never thought of, like, oh, he, uh, he mangled a um, button from a uh, old PC case, and uh, now he doesn't have to use a screwdriver to connect the, the two pins to power the, the system on and whatnot. Also some uh, USB cables and whatnot, and uh, the, the apps that I use or the programs that I use. Again, just some uh, hopefully useful uh, tips on uh, testing stuff and uh, some of the apps that I use and whatnot. So uh, yeah, again, this was, this was uh, what I had time to do this week and um, hopefully it is uh, somewhat useful. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up because uh, I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Your support is always and uh, very much uh, welcome. I have more substantial videos here on the channel on how to uh, build stuff uh, new and old, reviews and whatnot, so check those if you will. Follow me on social media if you want to, because social media is a thing. And uh, until my next video, please do, and as always, take care.